Episode 5, Physician Chinkue mocks Feng Yetan to win the Lingzhu by gambling. Yetan woke up from a dream, worried that her sister Chinkue would be in danger in the Xinyuan realm, and slowly asked her to take care of herself first. The two sisters contacted each other through lettering, and learned that there was no problem with each other. In order to avoid further troubles, Qin Kue said no and returned. Yi Tan was very moved, but the words he said were not pleasant to the ear. He was obviously trying to save Qin Kue, but he made the words ugly. Only when he stayed with her for a long time could he know her true nature. To rescue Qin Kue, she first had to remove the magic weapon belonging to Xuanshang Xinjun from her body. But after a lot of effort, she and slowly still couldn't do anything with this red light eye. Slowly mentioning an important piece of information, all the old craftsmen in the animal world said that the heavenly material and earthly treasures of the magic weapon are all in the Xianhuang realm of the Lingpu ancestor. Yi Tan ran to the Xianhuang realm of Lingpu Patriarch to search for treasures. Lingpu Patriarch saw that she had the natal magic weapon of Xuancheng Xinjun on her body and was unwilling to help her remove it. Yi Tan accidentally hit and found that the other two immortals were in Lingpu Gamble together in the Xianhuang realm of Patriarch Pu. The three immortals begged Yi Tan to keep quiet. Yi Tan has a lot of research on Mahjong cards, so he took the initiative to join in and teach the three immortals how to play. It's just that gambling is forbidden in the heavens, and every time she plays for a while, the pain on her body increases. The three immortals were powerless, and the patriarch Ling Pu said that the natal magic weapon was forged by the essence of the gods. If the master didn't want to unlock it, the magic weapon would be unlocked automatically unless his soul was completely destroyed. Yi Tan also learned that the three immortals had a close relationship with Xian Cheng since they were young. Tian Ho misses the childhood Xia Jian Yuqin very much, but ever since he entered the Xian realm, Tian Ho knew that the happy and carefree Xia Jian Yuqin in childhood would never come back. The Emperor of Heaven found out that Xia Jian Yuqin went to Leitang Division for Yetan to be punished, and he planted red eyes for Yetan, but he couldn't hide it. The three immortals had never played against the clever Yi Tan, so they quickly lost everything. They owed Yi Tan more than six million spirit beads, so they had to mortgage the treasures. As a result, the spiritual halls of the three immortals were all evacuated. Ding Yun learned that Zhu Jiuyin had been killed by Xiao Feng, so he decided to go back and invite King Li and his concubine to interrogate Xiao Feng. As for his subordinates, he followed the previous plan. Qin Kue was worried about mocking the wind, and spent all the Xin Yuan coins and jewelry on her body, just to go in and have a look at the Third Highness. Her kind heart makes Xiao Feng more and more moved. The three immortals tried different ways to let Xiao Dian Yuqin release Yi Tan's red eyes. Xiao Dian Yuqin saw that something was wrong with the three immortals at a glance, so they had no choice but to tell the story of the gambling. Yuqin was shocked and suspected that Yi Tan deliberately used these three immortals to blackmail her. In order to make up for the shortfall owed by Yi Tan, Xiao Dian Yuqin filled it up with things from the Peng Lai Jiang Pei. After a little tilt, the three immortals emptied the Peng Lai Jiang Pei, not even leaving the Xiaoguang cup for tea. Yi Tan was so arrogant and presumptuous, Xiao Dian Yuqin thought of a way to repay him. Jing Kue got her wish and saw Xiao Feng. She was grateful for Xiao Feng's life saving grace. Qin Kue has practiced the art of Qi Wang since childhood and heals Xiao Feng's wounds. Xiao Feng feels that Qin Kue is beautiful and kind hearted. A table of delicious food has been prepared, how to attract Yi Tan is a problem. At first, Fei Qi wanted to attract Yi Tan and slowness by shouting, but Xiao Jian couldn't let go of the piano, so he simply let the fragrance spread all over the heavens and Yi Tan would come naturally after smelling it. Sure enough, Yi Tanha smelled the fragrance slowly, and rushed over non-stop, before they had a good meal, Xian Shang spoke to stop them.